They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Shot is out. Contact. Bell sweep for mines. Grab that drink when this is over. Your persistence is at it. That's not a no. Jesus, get a fucking room, you two. Luck. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room two upstairs. Let's Help. move. Get you there, Mark. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Protejan el laboratorio. Necesito que vayamos a mirar si no los tenemos. Maten los idiotas. We're heading inside. Lazar man the door. Got it, Mark. Bell canvassed the room. Hastings, start talking. Perseus was here. 
Jamie shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! And we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling in front of them. Damn it, door is clear! Out of the way! Adler, I got eyes on an HBT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Lock it down! Moving up! Out the window! Out the window! Incoming grenade! Go, Bell!
I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. You worked for Perseus, Bell. I know it's hard to believe. But Arash Kadavar 86 to you at that airfield, Turkey. When the plane leaves trap zone, he is stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. He even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were a guinea pig for the CIA's MK Ultra program. They used me and Adler's missions of Vietnam to create new memories. Nothing brings people together like wartime. Instant family. Brothers in arms. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Research. We had a backup plan. 
you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job. On, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell. I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light, Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. For the safety This is your chance to find who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. We won't let the president down. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a loud north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Signs of movement or activity. Place is dead. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Sure, you're not forgetting something, Bell. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. He fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes?
Come out and play. You are running out of time. And space. The cat becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <coughs> I'd offer you a cigarette, but... You don't smoke anymore. No hesitation. I always loved that about you. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. <laughs> Yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Green-like nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali, you are... Former friends killed him. No matter. Kasim was always a weak link, and the chain cannot break. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow.
You say that Elias Arazole perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. And Helen Park was wiped out with him. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Unfortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was killed. Our spiring there is still intact, but we will need to rebuild and find new leadership. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. Fortunately, the CIA didn't eliminate any of Rudnik's three key assets. They will help fill the void left by his absence. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend.